Hello everyone. Myself Rosman Thomas. Today we are going to discuss Unit 2 Software Engineering. The types of software. Here is a list of types of software. There is system software, real time software, business software, engineering scientific software, embedded software, personal computer software, web based software, artificial intelligence software. We have already discussed the first four in the previous video. In this video we will be discussing embedded software, personal computer software, web based software and artificial intelligence software. Let's move on. So first there is embedded software. Intelligent products have become commonplace in nearly every consumer and industrial market. Embedded software resides in read-only memory and is used to control the products or systems for the consumer and industrial market. So those products that happens to be intelligent or that helps in your work and making it easier, such products uses certain types of software and this software resides in their memory and that is normally used to control that particular product and normally we see it in the consumer market such softwares are there only for the read only purpose and they do limited task and some specific task like the microwave oven the task in it is limited and predefined for that the software is developed and is stored in its memory and it is useful for the functioning and controlling of that particular software like we are also having digital functions in automobiles like fuel control the dashboard that is displaying the braking system so here the functionality is very limited the task of the such, such type of software is to make the product intelligent for the users to use easily so this type of software is embedded or installed into that particular system read only memory which only is used for controlling that particular product the next type of software is a personal computer software this software has increased in the last two decades so all of you who are using the personal computers that is the laptops they are using such type of softwares for the purpose of word processing maybe for spreadsheets graphics multimedia entertainment the database management financial applications or external network database access these are very few list given here but there are so many softwares that we are using on our day-to-day -day basis on our personal computer all such type of software belongs to this category of personal computer software the next type of software is web-based software so when the word web comes web-based obviously we are accessing this software with the help of a browser and this software contains the instructions maybe in the HTML format or into the Java, Java formats pearls and it contains again the data in the terms of hypertext this coming through the network so here there is a main role of network and this web based software provides unlimited types of softwares that can be exist by anyone who is using a modem so web based software are all those software that we access through the browser and it may be in the form of html java any type but we are accessing it through the network using a modem the next type of software is the artificial intelligence software so here itself we understand that there is an intelligence that is artificially generated into the software. So it makes use of non-numerical algorithms to solve 
complex problems that are not amenable to computation or straightforward analysis so here it is too much complex and too much complicated it is not easy for the computation or not easy for an analysis so here there is lots of uh, complexity involved in this so the expert systems they are also called as knowledge based systems pattern recognition maybe in terms of uh, recognizing a pattern in the images or in the voice artificial neural networks the theorem proving various game playing softwares they are all the representatives of this type of artificial intelligence software where the software is bound to think like just like a human being so here we are giving the intelligence to the software and that is called artificial intelligence and using that the software does its task thank you all